I hope you enjoyed our picture. In just a moment, I'm taking you behind the cameras to meet a screen personality who's paying us a very special visit from his home studio, 20th Century Fox. He's a man whom you've been reading about in these motion picture fan magazines. And in our business, when an actor starts getting big double-page spreads and feature articles in volume like this, it's a sure sign of rising stardom, which is precisely the case with our very talented guest, Jeffrey Hunter. I'll be right back, and he'll be with me. In Hollywood, we call this portrait I'm holding an 8 by 10 glossy. Like the amount of fan mail an actor receives and the number of popularity polls he wins, the number of fans who write in for a picture like this is another way a studio can spot a rising star, such as Jeffrey Hunter. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, thanks for the kind words, Gig. Well, they're cold facts to prove them. And I think after our audience sees you in the new John Wayne picture, The Searchers, you'll need a couple of caddies just to carry around your press book. <laughs> Which reminds me, give me a hand, will you, Jeff? Sure. Jeffrey brought these over to us. Six reels of film. Almost enough for an entire picture. Seven reels. We've already put the seventh on the projector, remember? Right. And it is an entire picture. About the making of a picture. You see, when John Ford was directing The Searchers, he put a camera to work behind the cameras. He got a record on film of everything that happened, from the time ground was broken for the first setup in Monument Valley, Utah, to the time the last scene was wrapped up. And during the next few weeks here on Warner Brothers Presents, you're going to see this film. For example, you'll not only see the cast at work against one of America's most spectacular scenic backgrounds, but you'll relive an even larger story of how The Searchers Company brought roads into a wilderness where roads have never existed, into the farthest reaches of Monument Valley. Outdoor country for a great outdoor story. You'll see how pioneers from Hollywood brought electricity into the trackless Navajo country to light a complete city, with facilities for feeding and housing almost 300 people. Up goes the wardrobe tent, and now it's shooting time. A grip levels the tracks for the camera dolly, a mammoth piece of precision machinery. And here it is, pacing John Wayne and Jeffrey Hunter as they ride by. You'll learn some of the tricks of the stuntmen's trade, and you'll watch as they work out shots that will leave you breathless. Calculated risks that sometimes end in injury, but are sure to provide a picture with its thrills. You'll stand beside director John Ford as he gives star John Wayne his final instructions for a key scene. You'll visit with Monument Valley's friendly Navajos. You'll also see them turned into bloodthirsty Comanche Indians by our makeup men. You'll meet the ladies of the cast, Vera Miles, Natalie Wood, and Olive Carey. And you'll be there riding the camera car through the Indian village as the searchers attack the wild Comanche to get back their stolen women. The climax of a scene that is also the climax of the months of planning and building that go into the production of a picture like the searchers. That certainly is an exciting sample, Jeff. Yes, it's actually a diary of a motion picture. The first of its kind, so far as I know. And I think when you see it in full at our next meeting, you'll agree there's no more to be missed than The Searchers itself, which Warner Brothers will soon be presenting at your local theater in Vista Vision and Technicolor. Well, thank you very much, Jeff, for letting us have these and for bringing them over personally. My pleasure, Gig. So long. Goodbye. So make a point of being with us when we show you the first chapter in the story of the making of The Searchers. I'll be back in a moment, but first a word about next week's television presentation.